On this episode, we go diving off my jet ski, we spear dinner, and we cook it up on one of the most interesting things I've found on the ocean to date. What is up everybody? It's your boy, Captain Jack. Welcome back to the channel. You can see we're punching out on the jet ski for a little afternoon mission. It's about 3.30 and it is kind of incoming tide and that's what we need to dive the inside. We are diving the ditch, the intercoastal waters. The weather's kind of changing a little bit. It's getting a little cold, so all the deeper fish are gonna be coming in shallower, and that is the goal today. I'm going for either snapper or sheep's head. I brought the little gun. I'm keeping it really simple. Got my fins, got the little gun, got my free dive vest, and then the dive flag and all my uh, snorkel wet, uh, weight belt, all that stuff is in there. And then also what I have is some cooking gear and I have a special treat for you. I saw something and I'm gonna take you guys on an adventure. Don't go anywhere. I'll see you guys out there on the water. Welcome back underwater everybody. If you're new to the channel, do me a favor, subscribe. And uh, just to let you give you a little heads up, I do voices, voiceovers through all of my dives so you guys know kind of what I'm thinking and uh, my thought process and everything I do behind what I'm doing. So now, it's not advised to dive alone, uh, but on this day, I'm not pushing myself at all. I'm making very shallow dives, uh, but if I was gonna do any kind of intense diving, I would make sure I for sure have a dive buddy. So you can see this spot is a little murked up and it's not a good idea to stay in one spot too long, so I'm definitely gonna bounce around from spot to spot on the intercoastal. All right, it's getting later and later. Not having really any luck seeing much uh, do one area. Um, so, and didn't really see anything and it was kind of tough conditions um, really rough so I went to a little bit less rough area um, we'll see how it goes but yeah I'll talk you through it once we get in the water so I decided to go to an area with a lot more concentrated structure uh, you can see there's like a big pile in here and uh, I'm just gonna main goal is just to go down kind of sit near the bottom uh, just this is my first dive on this spot and I just kind of want to get a layout of the land and I'm seeing a lot of life and a lot of fish and that's a very good si sign um, life attracts life so if there's you see a lot of fish most likely other predator fish will show up and sure enough that's what happens there's a snapper right there I give him the shaft so pretty stoked I know I'm not gonna go hungry and uh, that's one for the box and these snapper have to be 10 inches so uh, I, I knew he was legal and uh, I even actually measure him up on the ski. There we go, baby. There we go. Yes. And whenever I get a fish, no matter how big or small, uh, I make sure I always brain them and then I also gut them and you can kind of see what they're eating and uh, I actually see what this guy is eating in here in a second. And then also, uh, you kind of give back to the resource. You're, you have the potential to bring in more fish, but also you're kind of keeping the fish from being all smelly and gross whenever you're filleting it, letting the uh, bile get all over the meat. So highly suggest bleed it, brain it, gut it. Uh, and that's what I'm doing right now. I'm bleeding it, and that makes sure there's a little less bloodline in the meat. And look at that. You can see. There's a shrimp, so I know they're eating shrimp, so if I ever wanted to fish this spot, I could come here with some live shrimp, dead shrimp, and uh, have a chance of maybe getting some mangrove snapper. For all you haters and disbelievers, this guy, they have to be 10 inches. There's one, there's over 10, so 10 and a half. I'll take it. Not ideal, but I'll take it. I might get one more. Hopefully a big run. So I like posting my successes as well as my failures. Uh, so you see on this drop, if you notice my gun, I only have one band cock. And that's because I was kind of assuming that my gun was a little too overpowered, especially for these small fish. And that is a mistake that I made on this drop. Uh, I line up on a snapper and I shoot and my spear just literally dives uh, right before I get to the fish. So. Now, that shows that you need to make sure you have your spear fully cocked to its full potential because you really know, don't know what you're going to see. Um, so, this is my third and final drop. Uh, you can see me kind of messing with my watch. I'm checking my surface intervals and that's something I 
I really focus on, especially if I happen to be diving alone like in this circumstance, the rule of thumb is to double your surface interval compared to what your dive time was. So my last dive was like a minute, so my surface interval will be two minutes before I make the next drop, and that's what I was checking there on my watch. Uh, so now, this is my last drop. I'm kind of hoping for a bigger snapper. I lined up on that one. That's like a maybe 13, 14 inch snapper. Um, but I was being super patient. I knew they were around. They were going to keep coming in and out of visibility. And that's what I suggest you do. Just be very patient. I'm pretty sure my left hand is holding onto this structure. So I'm staying in one position. These fish are going to get curious. And sure enough, something comes in off the sand and comes right into me. Now that was a sheep's head, exactly what we were talking about. What I was targeting is exactly what I got. So I was super stoked that uh, I was able to get dinner. So now same as any other fish, make sure you brain it, bleed it, and then also gut it. It really uh, helps make the meat quality better, and also it kind of gives back and keeps your fish from getting all crummy, especially when you gut them. You guys, now that is what I call a successful little mission. Look at that, baby. Got a sheep's head and a snapper. Exactly what I was kind of searching for is what I found. Went down there on that last drop, was super patient, and uh, I was waiting for one of those bigger snapper to come in. It was probably maybe like 14, 15 inches. And um, then I looked to my right and I thought it was a spade fish, but nope, sheep's head, one of my favorite, and they make amazing fried fish. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. But I'm gonna take you to someplace super special. You guys are gonna be mind blown, so don't go anywhere. Yeah, so when I'm doing this island catch and cook camping stuff, um, I don't really even bring any ice with me. I don't think it's necessary because you just let them sit in the pool of water and just let them sit in the pool of water and it keeps them fresh. Little uh, little life hack. But you guys, this, this is what I was talking about. It is the weirdest thing and I saw it off in the distance and I was like, I gotta check this thing out. It is a barge that has like a steel container thing on it um, and all I thought was I got to do a catch and cook on this thing but it looks like it's abandoned there's like it's really broken up it's this concrete barge and there's a it's a steel container on it and it looks like they tried to make it into a some kind of Airbnb or something I don't know but uh yeah I'm gonna do a little uh I'm gonna do a little exploring on this thing and I want to take you guys with me First impression, dead bones everywhere. Look at this, look at that. So, things died here. Things definitely died here. Kind of, oh, <sighs> sketchy. All right. Somebody raged. All right, not too bad. Look at that. Talk about, uh, on the water, literally on the water. It's like a, this is like very updated, super updated, but very not awesome. What is that? It's like some kind of, some kind of electrical connection. Somebody been raging, same thing, super updated, but not very well kept. But look at this concrete. This is straight up concrete. Look at that. What's up? Little loner. Loner, uh, oh God. You're mourning your dead friend here. Look at that. Dead. Dead bird. Bunch of dead seagulls. That's cool, it's like a little, uh, you see that there's like a 
some kind of balcony thing up there. There's no way to get to it though. This isn't bad though. 1000% gonna catch and cook in there. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and start filleting those fish, but look at that, that's so bizarre. Crazy. <laughs> Sheep's head is gonna be yield a lot more meat. Thank God, because uh, I'm hungry, haven't eaten since lunch. So this is gonna be so freaking good. Do you guys understand why they call these guys sheep's head? Can you guess? Ah. Gonna knock off the skin off these, give this back to the ocean, and I'll see you guys when we are inside of our luxury yacht. There we go. I'm gonna get this guy nice and hot. Um, and then, we got oil. Well, I also have a little pot handle. Got the batter. I got this so we can serve it, not on the floor of some gross place. Um, oh my God. I forgot the oil. Gosh dang it. I knew it. I knew, I knew I was forgetting something. Mother. All right, well, whatever. Um, we're just gonna sear it. We're just gonna do the best we can. Um, oh my God. Oh, I suck. I suck. That sucks. I knew I was forgetting something. God dang it. All right, well, either way, we're gonna make the batter. I'm gonna let that, actually, it doesn't need to really get that hot now, does it? Oh, well, screw it, I'll let it get hot. Got that little cast iron going. I'm gonna, oh my God, look at that. Look at the size of that sheep's head. <laughs> I thought it was the carcass. He's just chilling. Hey. <laughs> I didn't even need to go anywhere to go fish for him. Oh God, oh. All right, dude, this is like a very narrow path. You see this? This is crazy. And look at that. Something's teeth. I'm seeing some bizarre things right now. All right, um, I am so stupid. God dang it, that sucks. That is very annoying. Come all the way out here and you forget the freaking oil. One thing you need to cook with. All right, but we're gonna make do. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, put this stuff in the batter and I'll show you how I make that in just a second. And then there's the fillets. And then this is what we need. I'm really hoping it'll be okay. Should be okay. So this is the stuff. You mix club soda with some cooked with some rice flour, and uh, <laughs> make sure you're careful opening the club soda. And you want it to be like a gooey, like a like a paste. And I uh, also put some seasoning in, in with it. And you can honestly put whatever seasoning you want. Um, I put in some blackening seasoning, plus some lemon pepper, along with some garlic salt and some regular sea salt. And uh, should turn out pretty good. Idiot, idiot, idiot. Normally you want oil. I've never done this without oil, so what can you do? And it's great because you just chuck them in. Like you just chuck them in and you just mash it all around and and they just coat, coat in it. Yeah. Look how tiny that walkway is. Oh, there's my pet, my pet sheepy. So they're, they're, they're around, which is good to see. Ooh, this sucker is getting hot. Here we go. All right. All right, so yeah, you can see what this stuff looks like. It's nice and baked in there. You just rub it around, get it all over everything. And then, normally this is, uh, shouldn't, it's gonna basically sear this stuff. It'll be like black, it may, I guess it's good that I chose blackening sauce or seasoning, but normally it'll uh, just encase everything. But it, it is what it is. You, you just gotta do, <laughs> make do with what you got. Normally it'll be bubbling with oil, but not gonna go down like that. 
And uh, it's a good thing I have that foil because I just realized another thing I forgot. Spatula. All right, I need to have a list. And for the future, when I go out, when anybody goes out, have a list in your phone. All right. Doesn't have that water side dinner. We're gonna test it out here. All right. All right, this is totally screwed. Effed. I mean, it's cooked well though. On a bone already. Not as bad as it could be. I'm gonna try to grab some of the batter with it. Not bad. Could be worse. Okay. Not too bad. I think the fact that it's super fresh helps. I have like a ladle now. Like this is. This is what this thing is turned into. I'm like scooping it like a ladle, like a soup spoon. That's it. Okay, not gonna lie, it's really good. Um, thank God I put some blackening seasoning in that, uh, in that batter. Makes it taste a lot better. That's good. The batter isn't crunchy, normally it's crunchy, but it's like kind of Almost the same texture as the fish. Don't go on. All right, it's not a total bust. It was horrible. Like I thought it was gonna be horrible, but it's way better than I thought it was gonna be. Probably because I'm hungry. It's not too bad. I'm telling you, if you ever mess up, just make do with what you got. Sorry, make do with what you got. But I'm gonna finish munching on this. Guys, if you enjoyed this, I really hope you did. Um, very different than my usual vid usual videos. Normally I'm diving with sharks and crazy stuff like that, but hey, if you can get out there on the water, I say do it. If you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and give it that thumbs up. If you're new, consider subscribing. Guys, thanks for joining me and like always, I'll see you next week for another episode. Later.